What up, folks? Welcome back to the Ultra Z News. Got a lot to talk about this week. Some interesting, interesting news to start it off. Really big toy news. And that is that Bluefin has been acquired by Bandai Namco. Bandai. Uh, Bandai Japan, as you would know it. Um, this is huge news. Now, Bluefin, if you don't know who Bluefin is, Bluefin is uh, the distributor, North American distributor that distributes all of Bluefin's uh, items here. They also do Storm Collectibles and a few other little things here and there. Um, uh, so this is huge news. What does this news mean? I don't exactly know yet. You know, we'll wait and see. They already do a lot for Bandai. What this could possibly do is get a better foothold for Bandai getting their web exclusive stuff here. Now we know they've tried to start up their web shop, you know, their North American web shop a couple of times and it's failed. Um, you know, so I, I feel like that could be a good way for them to get their stuff here better. Um, maybe. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they want to go through that because it might mean less money overall for everyone there. And it's a business, you know, of money. So, um, they now take control of 80% of the company. So hopefully some good things are in store. 20% uh, is still uh, being held uh, by uh, the Steve Fuji, was it Fujimura? Uh, let's see, Steve, Steve, Steve Fujimura, I have it here. Steve Fujimura, yeah, I had it right. Uh, and he stays on as uh, the CEO, I believe. Um, you know, so that is interesting. Uh, I know from, you know, having retailer friends that this, you know, is probably a good thing. There's been a lot of things that Bluefin has done to piss off a lot of retailers over the uh, past few years. So hopefully this is a good thing. They have to answer to Bandai directly now. So we shall see, you know, like it could be very good. Uh, for everybody involved. And here's hoping the retailers have a better go at it because, you know, I do know that there's been some difficulties. So, but this is huge toy news. We'll see how it goes um, uh, and what this m could possibly mean for, you know, import toys coming in here and uh, our ability to get them maybe possibly in more places. Who knows? So, we shall see. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, and I mentioned Storm Collectibles, they just announced uh, a little earlier today that, and today meaning it's Saturday at the time of this recording. Hopefully there's nothing on Sunday. No news on Sunday, no news on Sunday. <laughs> um, uh, they announced uh, that they will have some early releases at NYCC. In, you know, as well as the exclusive. So you'll be able to get that Evil Ryu and Evil Ken, as well as the Mortal Kombat Goro to go along with the ninjas and um, the, the smoke and rain, as well, and uh, the uh, Chun Li battle outfit one. So that's pretty cool. I, I you know, it's I would love to get Goro early. Uh, I'm not getting the Ken and Ryu, the evil ones, but Goro's on my list. Uh, of stuff to get and I've already pre-ordered it through Toy Ninja so I'm good there you know like I'm not gonna you know Toy Ninjas are pals you know so I'm not gonna really uh, do that but there you go guys if you're in attendance at NYCC you get some early stuff which is cool that's always cool I, I, I was wondering about that actually because they always uh, do that you know Bandai bo bo both Bandai and Storm Collectibles usually do that I got Zangief early last year um, after I read it. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, it was officially announced now the MPM Bumblebee from the movie. So we're getting a Transformers Bumblebee from the new Bumblebee movie as a masterpiece. Uh, and it looks pretty good, I must say. Um, it'll probably be a little small, uh, but it, it looks very nice. I, I definitely 
into the look of Bumblebee for the new movie. I don't think I'm gonna get this. I think I'm pretty much done with the MPM line. And that's because I think the Studio Series line does it for me enough. I do not need masterpieces of those figures. So, but it does look nice. So if you want it, it's definitely happening. So there you go. What I do want is a couple of mini little kits. And I'm not a, the biggest SD guy, but you know, Bandai is doing a mini, um, uh, Great Mazinger and Mazinger Z, and they're doing them in a really interesting way. First of all, they're really cheap. It's going to be about 12 bucks US, um, which is amazing if you're importing it. And, you know, what they're going to do is they're going to have parts, so you're going to be able to make them like, like really SD style, or maybe like a little bigger, like NX Edge style. So that's pretty cool. You get a couple of little levels there of stuff that you can do with them. That's really neat. I really dig that. Okay, what I really, really dig though is that they, uh, through magazine scans, we now know that there's going to be an SH Figuarts Ultraman Zero. I love Ultraman Zero, and I was about to get him in the Ultra Action line, um, which I started reviewing here as well. But he's one that I really like, so I was like, ah, I don't know if I should get him. They're definitely going to make an SH Figuarts of him, um, and that is is a Ultraman that I really want as a figure watch because I really love the character. I have the Ultra Act and I don't really think I'm getting rid of that one either. I really like that one. So yeah, that is awesome. You know, I, we've only got the one picture so far, you know, um, but it's cool enough to get us going. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, Ultraman uh, Zero is definitely a really awesome Ultraman, and if you haven't seen anything he's been in, you should really go check it out. It's cool stuff. You know who's cool? Gridman is cool. And I also uh, got the official picks out for the Dyna Dragon and Gridman Sigma set. That looks amazing. I love how this looks. Man, what is it with kits lately? I, I'm, you know, like, really into the kits lately. Uh, even though I'm, I'm, I haven't really built much yet, but, like, I really, like, I'm really tempted to get more kits. Um, so we'll see. Like, this is something I'm really into right now, and uh, the Gridman stuff is, is incredible. So, yeah, definitely going to be on the lookout for this. It hasn't gone off for pre-order quite yet, unless I missed it. <laughs> But you will, you shall see. This is a super mini plus set, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, check it out. Definitely that, man, that Dino Dragon looks amazing. <laughs> what looks super amazing is this new Motoride series from Good Smile. Um, I mean, all of them look really good, but this new Mazen Kaiser looks incredible. It's got like a samurai aesthetic, and it just blows me away. It's super, super chunky, and uh, man, it's amazing looking. Um, the name is escaping me right now. Here it is. Motoroid Mazenkaiser How. H-A-O-U. So, How? How? I don't know. Like, is that the name? Whatever the name is, however you say it. How? However you say it. Um, it looks incredible. I, I mean, that sword is ginormous. It's chunky looking it's beautiful like uh his like it comes with like parts where you could like do the, these wings and it's it's really nice looking guys i'm really into this so we shall see how much this one costs but this is a definite possibility for me to get this is the type of figure that i really miss the super robot chogo can line for and this is would have been perfect for that and i feel like the model kits are like kind of you know, like all these Motoroid and um, the, the Mini Plot ones are like trying to fill that hole that the Super Robot Chokin uh, was filling for a time being. Because I don't think they're going to be doing too many full action ones. The full action one is a very certain aesthetic of like these, the really classic Super Robots that have the slender builds. So it wouldn't be like some of the more modern stuff. At least I don't think so. So gotta have an outlet for that and so far this is the outlet i'm hoping like somebody else comes along and makes some actual action figures of them like super robot choguken was i really like them i don't care if they're die cast or plastic somebody get on it and make it all right and the last thing i want to talk about one of the first pieces of news for the week 
Uh, we got the reveals for the uh, some of the Captain Marvel uh, movie wave of uh, Marvel Legends, including Captain Marvel herself, uh, which looks cool. The trailer also came out this week, which also looked great. Uh, this looks like a good figure of her. We got a scroll, which I'm not too convinced of the scrolls quite yet. Um, we have what I believe is either a Kree soldier or Jude Law's character. I don't know who he's supposed to be. If he's supposed to be Captain Marvel, I don't know exactly. I mean, maybe it's well known and I just don't know. Um, but it's guy in the green and he looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'll get that one, but I will be getting the Sam Jackson. Um, the Nick Fury, younger Nick Fury, 90s Nick Fury in a suit. Uh, looks like the same suit we've seen uh, before, but the uh, digital tech looks really awesome on that figure. So, excited. Excited for that one, and really excited for the Captain Marvel. So, awesome stuff, and some cool news all around, guys. Now, really quick, I should have said this before, and maybe I should say this all the time. Ultra Z News is really all about the news that I care about, mostly. It's kind of a roundup of everything I've posted about you know, during the week on Ultrazilla Toys on Facebook. So if you're not, you know, part of the Facebook stuff, go give a fa my Facebook page a like. The link is down below because all the stuff I've mentioned there all week long. So this Ultra Z news at the end of the week is a roundup of not only of the news I care about, but the news I've already, you know, you know, spoke about on uh, Facebook and given my initial thoughts on. So this is probably a little bit of expanded uh, thoughts on those. So yeah, there you go. It's a little synergy there. So there you go. That's my, the news for this week. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.